This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. And welcome to the program. I'm Roby Brock. Thank you for joining us. I'm joined by Governor Asa Hutchinson. Always good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Roby. Thank you for being here. Let's talk about highways and roads. You kicked off a big program on Friday uh, for the half cent sales tax that's going to be on the ballot in November of 2020. Where do you think public opinion stands today for supporting this tax? We actually uh, did some polling on that issue uh, before we made the announcement and uh, it was about 62 percent of our Kansans either will vote for or probably vote for issue one which is the extension of the half cent sales tax and so we were very pleased with that but it still indicates you got to run a campaign because those that probably you want to make sure they have all the facts and will actually vote for it. Well, will there be a map out there that kind of details where the spending is going to be? That seems to be a pretty crucial component of previous campaigns to, to build public support for this. It is and uh, the uh, Highway Commission and Highway Department has developed already a rough as to what this uh, would mean in turn this two and a hundred two hundred and five million dollars over ten years that's uh, over two billion dollars that would be spent uh, on highways and where that could be spent. Now they're also going to have public hearings on this and that's important because we want the public to understand what the tentative plan is but also we want to hear their comments and there could be some adjustments on the priorities based upon that. But clearly uh, one thing that's important is that it's in every part of the state we want every part of the state to benefit from this highway plan. You're talking populated areas and maybe more rural areas. Both, absolutely. I mean, you look down at the uh, South Arkansas and the East-West uh, corridor is very important there and that's part of the plan. You look at the north part of the state, the extension of Highway 412. So all of these different corridors uh, you will be able to see on how the highway department would expect to start spending that money. Uh, the other critical element is uh, the cities and counties. Uh, the cities, and, if this doesn't pass, the cities and counties actually lose $43 million. And why is that? Well, it's because right now that half cent sales tax has been going to them what, for the last uh, six or seven and years goes away, and it goes yeah. away. So theirs would be cut as well as the state bond program. There's a little incentive for them right there on that. Tell me, uh, you mentioned cities and counties. What are some coalitions that you know will be for you on this? What are some coalitions or groups that you expect to oppose? Well, in terms of uh, the groups for it, I mean, this impacts every industry in Arkansas from tourism that depends upon roads uh, to agriculture, whether it's poultry or whether it is the farm to market. Uh, commodities in eastern Arkansas that really, really need a road program. But it's also about the small businesses. We had one small business, Emily's Flowers from uh, uh, Lone Oak, that came in there. They have a flower shop, but they were delivering flowers across the county and they ran into a pothole. And that did damage to their vehicle. That was an incentive for them. They became a contributor to this campaign. Gotcha. So potholes do magic uh, for for supporting roads. Let's take a quick commercial break and I'll come back and tell you about talk to you about some other politics. Uh, and still got one more question on the highway program here. So, but uh, Governor Asa Hutchinson's with us. We'll be back right after this.